name is Scott Ball, and I'm the Esri Product Manager for ArcGIS Maps for Power BI. Today, I'd like to show you how you can use Maps for Power BI. Let's look at local government. So the problems that local governments face are that they need to monitor those complaints coming in from the public and understand the status of the work to fix those issues. And so to solve or address that issue, um, this is the first one where we'll take a look at the PLUS capabilities. And so again, as I mentioned, PLUS is available for uh, with a subscription. And so one thing that we'll notice whenever I flip over to my report is that uh, we've got a little bit of information about the potholes. We see that there are 238 unfixed potholes, 758 fixed potholes that's coming in from the public. Uh, and our teams are working on those and, and updating and assigning the status of those things. Uh, but we'll notice that this ArcGIS Maps for Power BI visual has a blocking page up and it says this map contains plus content. To access it, I need to sign in or sign up for a Plus subscription. So uh, one thing that's pretty important to, to understand and recognize about Plus subscriptions are that if you create maps with Plus content, you need to be a Plus subscriber to view that content. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And when I sign in, I'm going to get a uh, sign in dialog that I'm going to show on the screen right now. Uh, it says, how do you want to sign in to Microsoft? I want to pick my account. And once I authenticate, it says, oh yeah, I know who you are. Uh, you are a valid Plus user and it's going to display my map for me. And so the Plus content that I'm seeing here is this imagery based map. That is not something that is available for the free user. And so I'm also seeing my uh, reports of potholes overlaid on top of this Plus content. And so I can zoom in uh, with this up to date, accurate uh, aerial imagery from Esri and actually get a look at where this reported pothole is. Uh, it's red, it means that it hasn't been addressed yet, so that's still a pothole out there that my team needs to fix. Um, one of the other capabilities that we uh, are pretty proud of and that we think is very useful to users uh, of this visual is the ability to make selections. So let's say I want to know uh, specific information about this area here on my map, this neighborhood. Uh, I can use my selection tool over on the right hand side. I can switch to select multiple locations, click and drag, and I'm going to get some information about just the neighborhood that I'm interested in. Uh, you'll notice that over here on the right, my numbers have updated. Uh, so you'll understand that um, selections on the ArcGIS Maps for Power BI visual are bi-directional and work for highlighting and filtering on the other visuals that you have in your reports. So this is a really powerful capability to give. Uh, it's really kind of the first line of spatial analysis. Tell me things about this particular area. Uh, there are nine unfixed potholes, five fixed potholes, so I need to get my teams over there to do a better job in this particular neighborhood. Some of the value props for the Plus subscription uh, include, uh, as I mentioned before, everything in free. Uh, you get more base maps, including the imagery that you're seeing here, uh, as well as uh, something I didn't show here, but you get global demographics. So in addition to those layers that you get for the United States, uh, you get worldwide layers and infographics um, for uh, global populations at the plus level. Thanks for watching. Go to www.esri.com slash power BI to learn more.